when i came into ghana december 2020 with my kids to join my husband i never really had plans of exploring ghana or doing a lot of things i do right now after some months it dawned on me so i've been in this country for some months if i'm asked what do you know about ghana or where you've been to in ghana what am i actually gonna say accra then that was where i started exploring ghana I started from the city of Accra, I started exploring it because I wanted to know more things about being in a country. I didn't just want the country in the lens of just the city, I wanted to see what the country is. Then I started exploring. Naturally I love adventure, but I never really had the time because I was a career person. I started adventure in 2021. I've moved around Accra, I've moved around Ghana in so many ways like i've been to regions i never thought i was going to be to have i really enjoyed these experiences i would say yes i've enjoyed them it has given me the opportunity to meet people to understand the culture to understand why people are the way they are honestly a lot of things i've actually seen i never expected to see them the experiences have been mind-blowing and it made me enjoy and appreciate Africa for what we are. That natural beauty the world is yet to see. Within my stay in Ghana, I have actually done a lot of things I never would have thought of doing. I love adventure like I said, but I was always thinking or like many Africans think until you get to this country or that country a lot of us don't think of Africa when it comes to adventure there I was hiking to the highest point in West Africa the Afajato mountain this mountain is the highest in the whole of West Africa and I got there now here I was in the Volta region of Ghana Keta to be precise and I had a wonderful experience in all of this there i was on lake volta some time ago this is actually the longest or the largest lake artificial lake in the whole world i've heard a lot of people actually argue this with me but i was talking based on what we we're told when we were on this trip it's the largest this is where ghana actually generates their electricity from yes in my many trips, one thing I constantly did was to definitely try Ghanaian dishes. In the house, I do more of my country dishes, but when I'm on the move, I do Ghanaian dishes. And have I enjoyed them? Honestly, I have. They've been very, very good. In my recent trip, yeah, I went to the eastern region of Ghana. I've actually been there before, but I went on a second trip because of the events happening around the Easter. Then I heard a white man call this place the Pyramid of Ghana. And it dawned on me, how come I've never actually heard anybody call it the Pyramid of Ghana? I went on Google to actually check and I didn't see anything like that. But after you know, getting all the clips, it dawned on me, yes. I think I actually understand why this man called it the Pyramid of Ghana. So in this video, or the remaining part of this video, I'm going to be showing you our trip to the eastern region of Ghana and why the white man actually called it the Pyramid of Ghana. Yeah, if you know how symbolic the pyramid is, this mountain actually gives you that symbol. But <laughs> I want you to actually watch it and actually tell me do you actually think this place should be called the pyramid in my own opinion i feel it should be in fact i see this place as one of the most beautiful places in ghana i've actually not been to everywhere but with all my trips this is one of the places i love the most now let me allow you to watch this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel
So guys, we're going to be climbing through this huge mountain you see. Yeah, there's actually a road path. In fact, there are different road paths through this mountain. guys there we were getting to the top of that huge mountain yeah like i said there's a road path through this mountain and very good like very nice beautiful road and there we were at the top guys so i'm gonna be showing you the beautiful pyramid guys that's not what is officially called but after hearing a white man call it that i feel that name actually suits it the pyramid of Ghana So, was the white man actually right when he called this the Pyramid of Ghana? In my opinion, I feel he was right. I know it doesn't look exactly like the Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, but this is actually symbolic. Guys, what do you think about this video? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch more of my videos and my adventure around Ghana. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.